And so the first thing we did is exactly what I had suggested at my old law firm. We went into the studios, negotiated our own forms, uh, a form of amendment to the standard boilerplate so we could spend our time worrying about you know, little things like the money and the, the back-end compensation and the credit, the stuff that actually counted, not, not the, you know, the silly stuff in the, in the boilerplate. So you did something, uh, the, the lesson is, you did something that was so against the short-term interest of the firm, what most people would say is, look, we get paid hourly. The more hours we crank in, the more money we make. And the first thing he says is, that doesn't make any sense. So it was more efficient. It's more efficient for the clients as well. Oh, absolutely. Because you're spending your time on stuff that actually means something to them. And obviously, we, we went to a 5%. I figured it, it was a very simple theory. If the agents are worth 10%, we're, we're worth at least 5%, right? So we went on a 5% basis with all our clients. And I, my, what I said is, if you don't pay 5%, go somewhere else, you know? All of them were willing, in those days especially, uh, you know, we were young. Most of our clients weren't that big a deal. They thought it was a good deal for them. Uh, but for me, it was a better deal for us, because not because we thought the economics would work out as well as they did. Uh, that, I must say, they worked out way better than we ever anticipated. That was, it was not economically motivated. It was lifestyle motivated. I didn't want to have to worry about time, build people on time, explain time. It just made more sense to me. As, as a business model. And then, of course, as the economics got bigger and bigger and our clients, some of whom made hundreds of millions or billions, then all of a sudden it was a great model for us. But initially, we, we actually thought we'd make less, but we'd be happier. 